I've got a 5 p.m. supervision today, so I'm going to be in the lab until 6 o'clock. Supervision is finished. It was quite good, actually. I spent a long time on the supervision work, so I really understood everything. So I had, I knew what was going on. Pleased with that. The weather is horrible. It's raining now. Cycling back to college, and then I'll have dinner. Just made myself some hot chocolate, and I have cream to put on the top. Who needs Starbucks when you've got this? It is 20 to 3 in the morning. I have just managed to get some unit tests working that I have for my project. So I've explained before that my project is video summarization. I want to take long videos and algorithmically find the important bits and then output them. One of my algorithms is based on colour. It just detects how much the colour changes between each frame. So I tried to write some unit tests to test whether this was actually working in the extreme cases. It's taken me hours to get, um, first of all, a sort of fake video reader object class written which we can just synthesize frames instead of reading from an actual video file. So I, I made that, then I wanted unit tests to make sure that was outputting what it should. Then my problem with the unit test testing the color change algorithm not working was because I was assuming a black frame going to a white frame should be a colour change. I forgot that I was converting to HSV and ignoring V. So that's a different colour space compared to RGB which separates the colour from the light. So V is how um, bright each pixel is. So black and white, they have the same colour. One is just really bright and one is really dark. Now it works going from a black frame to an almost red frame. That is how to go from um, minimum hue and saturation values to maximum values. And that's what I spent my night working on, that's why it's now quarter to three. That's why I'm going to be tired in lectures tomorrow. I have a supervision in just over one hour, currently trying to get a different piece of supervision work finished. This is information retrieval. Very strange course. So a large part of this course is sort of like, how does Google work? But not in the technical sense, but much more high level and abstract. Like, we have this query language and we put a query in and we want to get some results out, but how should we interpret the query? One very specific example from this slide that I've got open here is space. Do we want a space to represent disjunction or conjunction? I.e. when we Google something and we separate our words with spaces, do we want the space to mean the word before the space and the word after the space, or do we want results with the word before the space or the word after the space? Then it goes on to like, how do we index all of the documents, which is the most efficient way to to search through them all. Then it overlaps with our natural language processing course a little bit. Now we haven't got this far yet, but it looks like we get on to how do we evaluate the effectiveness of our query languages and our um, essentially search engines. Anyway, this is the work I'm doing now. Supervision is happening soon. Then I'll come back and finish this work, make a video today, do some more supervision work. I'll be getting set some e-commerce work later today. Trying to be very efficient, get lots done. I bought one of those microwave burgers. This is a chicken sandwich burger thing. Oh wow, all of the scaffolding is gone from Docket. Maybe it will be finished before I leave. Supervision's done, and now it is the weekend. I'm done for the week. Done with supervisions, at least. Obviously got plenty of work to do, plenty of other things to do, videos to make, jailbreak to organise. I want the next two weeks before jailbreak happens to be as productive as possible. Every lecture course has a lot of recommended reading to go with it, but I rarely look at the books that we're told to read, because usually each course has like a few thousand page textbooks that we get told to read, and it's just completely infeasible. But they are usually quite good and very useful. When I get stuck with supervision work, I should start looking at them more often. Going for dinner now, going to the buttery for the first time in like weeks. <laughs> Guys, I'm so tired. I haven't had more than like six hours of sleep for the past five days. It is Monday morning, I think. Yes. Hopefully by the end of the day, I'll be a bit more on top of stuff and I can sleep properly. There were three lectures today, but one course is on artificial intelligence and it's not examinable. So I'm not going to go to that. One course is topics in concurrency. I haven't been to any of those lectures so far, so I'm probably just dropping that one. And then the other one is system on chip design, but I probably won't bother going because I need to spend all the time working on my project because... 
I've got a meeting with my supervisor at half past one. Then after that's over, come back here and do e-commerce supervision work, which is due in tomorrow probably. So I'll spend about six hours getting that work done. Then I need to finish a website about jailbreak. I also need to plan another presentation that I need to give about my project, this time to one of the research groups in the computer lab, specifically the graphics one. So this is going to be awful because they'll ask lots of questions about my project and I'll not even know the answers. They're going to tear me apart. I also need to have a meeting with my director of studies about my project as well this week. There's the usual Wednesday meeting that happens every week. I have a supervision at the beginning of next week that I need to do the supervision work for this week. Also various other things I need to organise for jailbreak. So much to do. This is why I'm not sleeping enough. I should stop wasting time talking to you and actually get some of this stuff done. Tourists taking photos through the fence. I've been cycling a lot this term because walking just takes too long. Don't have time. Time for my project meeting with my supervisor. Good thing I managed to get out of bed this morning and actually do some work on it. Now I've got something to talk about with her. I'm going to Pizza Express for dinner tonight because they've got 25% off at the minute. Pizza Express is closed because, according to the sign on the door, due to a lack of water. How does that even happen? Another Pizza Express in So we walk to this one. Thank you. I ordered a printer last night, but apparently there's a problem with my order and they want some more details. So I need to phone them. It's a bit of a weird email I got. Let's we'll see what happens. Funky music though. I've just got an email from my supervisor saying my supervision today is cancelled, rearranged for later in the week. So I don't have anything to do today actually. Like nothing scheduled. I have just been to Sainsbury's. I got back like 10 seconds ago and it started hailstoning. I was lucky to miss this. 11 minutes past 1, I've just finished a piece of supervision work. This was actually due in at 6pm, but I just didn't have time to get it done by then. But I have to go and scan it now and email it to my supervisor, which means going outside to go to the library, and it'll be freezing cold because it's 1 o'clock. I wonder if anyone's in the library at this time. If this was next term, there would be, because next term is exam term, and people just like constantly work and revise. Can't see anyone for the microphone upstairs. I don't understand why that library door needs uh, one of our university cards to get out. It wouldn't read my card properly there. I thought I was going to get trapped in the library. I also know that scanning my work like this is a waste of paper because my supervisor then prints it out again. But that is often just how I have to do it. It's not my choice. And in a situation like this, when it's 1 a.m., it's the only way I can get it to them so they can print it out and read it tomorrow morning, probably before I'm awake.